Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Yo. Yo. What's good? It's Lord Shoe X, and you're watching Lord A Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. Welcome to this live stream. You see the slideshow next to my face. This is products in my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Get down here. If you see anything you like, that's the jewelry. Everything on that website is 50% off on Tefnet Archive. And the notebooks are by 1111. Now that we didn't got that out the way, what's good, y'all? This is kind of like a therapy stream today for myself. Because if I actually went to therapy, I'd probably end up killing the therapist. So we're just going to get straight into it. What's good, y'all? I think I titled this stream a Tupac song. It's currently about how I feel every single day. Y'all should listen to that song. Check it out. Be rocking with it. I'm blue because that's how I'm supposed that's, to. That's me. I'm blue. <laughs> Normally I'm purple, but today I'm blue. So, this is a therapy stream for me today, y'all. So I'm just going to get a couple things off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, what's good? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I was just saying that everybody should listen to this song by Tupac. I mean, that's cool. Let's go. I'm always down for people doing these streams with me, man. So anybody that... uh trying to stream including the homie always just hit me up hit me up before I do the streams I'm doing it earlier today because normally I do them at 6 p.m. but I got to move back to the 8 today so I got my new magic wand actually this is my latest magic wand the other one I had was made of metal this is this the old it's the old magic wand so, this is my new magic wand right here. So, we're going to get into this stream. For those who don't know, I'm Laura Shuex. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you're watching Lord of Perfected Work. Website down below, shoelovesrebels.com. Check it out. Everything in the slideshow next to me is a product in my store. All the jewelry is 50% off on tefnetarchive.com. And that's it for that. Now... I just got back from going to this lake by my crib. I had a pretty rough morning this morning. Uh, I, know, I usually don't like calling the morning morning. I usually call it the daytime. <laughs> but we're just gonna keep it basic. I ain't gonna go too deep into the stream. I'm gonna stream maybe a good hour, maybe longer. But yeah, so. Everybody just left the crib today. It's quiet now. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. As y'all can see, I'm kind of struggling doing that. Normally, I get on these shits and I can, I can just flow. But that just goes to show you, like, 
where my mind is at. It's kind of in a fucked place right now. Just trying to pull myself together, honestly, without uh, without going too too fucking crazy. I mean, I fucking raised out this morning. It this shit is crazy how the only people that can really like get up under your skin is people that know you the, like the best, that know you, that are the closest to you. And sometimes it be seeming like that's the end all be all for shit. Like, you know what? I just, I can't fuck with you no more. But you can't even say that because to not fuck with people is to not fuck with yourself. We all gotta be in a good mindset, positive mindset to wanna be able to help the next person out. Cause there's people who are actually going through real problems, bigger than my own, yeah. Bigger than my own problems. Exactly. We all go through tough days. You can't take it personal. Cause when you wake up, it's a million people going through way worse shit than you are. So you just gotta, you know, chalk up the L, chalk it up to a loss. Sometimes niggas ain't gonna see your vision. People doing their own thing. They just not gonna see your vision. But that it be days like this that make you put shit into perspective of who are you doing it for? Who are you really doing this shit for? Are you doing it for them? Or are you doing it for yourself? Because when the shit over with and you looking at yourself in the mirror and you like, damn, I didn't do nothing. Not that I give a fuck about any of this shit. Y'all, I already tell y'all all the time on these streams that I could give a fuck about life. I could blow my brains out tomorrow and I'd be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cool. But some people who chase their destinies and um, as the Celtic guys used to call it, the weird. Yep, always. There's always an excuse. But you can never, you can never, you can only hold yourself accountable. You can never take it personal, man. Real shit. Hey, I appreciate, yo, I appreciate you going hard in the chat, bro, for real. Like, I appreciate that, for real, for real. Dead ass. But you just, you can only hold yourself accountable. So if you want to see something through to the end, you got to do it. You might have to do it by yourself. But I just always try. I always try to be a God in light. I don't, want, I don't ever want people to feel like I don't fuck with them, man. And sometimes I be saying shit out of like, out of just knowing people. Like like I said, only people who can really get under your skin is the people that know you. So it's easy to say shit to people that you know because you can just come off and just say that shit and knowing that, hey, this is the truth. I need you to hear this shit, bro. But then that shit can really go sideways. <laughs> so... The fact that I'm consistently getting back on these streams every day. It's been over a week that I've been streaming consistently every day. Just letting y'all know that no matter what, I never turn my back on anybody. I never turn my back on the people on this on these streams. Cause the same energy that I give to y'all, I'm getting it back. But it'd be tough some days when you see like people that you know, like you feel, to me personally, I feel like these people are better than me. You know what I'm saying? Because they aspire to do shit from a place that I can't even connect to anymore. Like, love and family and closeness and intimacy. Like, these are places that it's so hard for me to go to. Which is why I'm doing these streams because I'm trying to tap back into that energy. But... Sometimes I be fucking getting lost, bro, in myself. Because I want to see me do what I want to do. But then I'm always at battle with the fact that, like I say, bro, I could give a fuck. Okay, nah, bro, don't have that mindset, brother. Trust, I live in Australia and just started my own. We got blessings from a 1% dominant club. Now that my club is down for the right, other clubs are pressuring my club into being a supporter for them and shit. And it can cost my life just to start something I dream about. Facts, bro. 
Facts. Real shit. It's it's tough for sure. But I I totally am hearing what you're saying and I totally believe in what you're saying, bro. For real. I believe in what you're saying, bro. Facts. And I appreciate that, bro. Like, this is why I got on here, man. For real. This is why I got on here. Because I'm trying to build a community of people close. And, like, really just come from the heart, bro. I don't want nobody to feel like I ain't, I ain't, I don't fuck with nobody or that we can't achieve goals together and shit like that. Because that's why I do this shit. I don't get on here to just talk about my life. You know what I'm saying? I get on here to express my experiences, but the lessons remain, you know? So I appreciate you saying that shit, man. Facts. And I, I'm going to get my mind right today for that simple fact that you came on here and said that shit, bro. Because it takes somebody who really just got that motivation to push themselves all the way and see what, what's on the other side of that portal. When you walk through that portal, you don't know what's gonna be on the other side, so you right, bro. That's real shit. That's, I appreciate you for that, for real, fam. Cause that shit just like took like 100 pounds off of me, man. Hell yeah. Man, I care about everybody, bro, for real, for real. I care, like, I care about this world, for sure. That's why I be that's why I be having tough days like this. It's just so hard seeing the world be like fuck fuck everything. Fuck. Like bro, that shit be tough on me cuz like my heart is humongous, dude. And when I don't see people like pushing to see like love, that shit is rough, man. Like we supposed to be closer than this. We supposed to be like down for each other and watching each other's backs. And I just be seeing people just shitting on each other, man, or, or playing. Like, <laughs> stop playing, man. <laughs> stop playing. But yeah, I ain't gonna sit here and just, um, I don't wanna make this stream about problems, because issues are a dime a dozen, and we all got our own. This ain't about my problems either. The real shit I wanted to talk about was my journey and me leaving today to go to Atlanta to uh, go back into starting my career. Big facts. Yeah, big facts. Hey, y'all, shout out to him, man. If y'all, if y'all, uh, if y'all support this channel. Let's be a family. Let's be closer, and let's talk talk about bringing. We all across the world. We everywhere across this world. We can bring, we can create a team, and we can create things that'll bring us closer. And that's exactly what this this stream is about: is being closer to the Almighty, the All Mind. Being a part of something that's bigger than ourselves is something that all people should be looking to emulate not even talk about but just to emulate we should all be performing the actions that other people should want to emulate on their own we shouldn't have to talk about it we should be living it so today I'm gonna talk about my journey and how I'm going to emulate things to my family so that they don't have to be afraid no more and that they can find that sense of urgency that I have when it comes to uplifting the consciousness of this planet because that's why I'm still here to this very day. That's why I'm still here no matter what. I told y'all yesterday on the last stream I did that I'll never give up on this world no matter what because there's something up there bigger than me that's living through me to be able to bring everything back to that to that oneness. So I'll never give up. No matter how fucked up anything is, I'll never give up. So today, I'm getting ready to go back to Atlanta. I gotta start uh, working on these gigs that I have out there and setting up some foundations for my family. 
And sometimes, like I said yesterday, you have to pull yourself out the mix to really be able to know what your true potential is. And it be hurting. I ain't gonna lie, it hurts. It hurts me because I'm very family oriented. But every year as I live and I start to see certain things, I start realizing that even family can be detrimental to you and slow you down. And I hate to say that, but I really do. But sometimes it just takes, take it takes making those steps to really push yourself off the cliff so that you know when you fall in, that hand's always gonna be there. I already have, I've failed so many times and so many things I've done that I just always trust that hand to be there when I do fall and I know I'm about to hit the ground. But I, I just never, I never turn my back on that shit, man. Going back there to work on my latest project, um, Shoe Pro LP, which today I actually started um, sifting through some instrumentals that I had made, which uh, if y'all haven't heard any of my music, check out the website and it'll be the first link on my website is where all my discography, well, my discography through my label is right now. I had signed with this label that I'm trying to get off of. Facts. Yeah, facts. We all gotta we all gotta figure out what's what's gonna work for us so that when the others come, because they'll come. Once they see you like, oh shit, he nah, he wasn't playing. They'll come. They always do. <laughs> they always do. But Big facts. I just, I'm so excited really because this this album is the last album I'm doing under the previous um, alias. And I'm finally doing shit my way, completely 100% my way. So today is the start of that, 100%. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I'm nervous as hell, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's a lot of shit that's unknown, but that's what taking a chance is and just not being prepared, being the fool in, in this situation. It It's always the best way to go about things because like I said before, you'll never know your true potential until you jump off the cliff and have no expectations. And I really don't have any expectations about what's gonna happen next. I just know that pretty soon I'll be doing exactly what I want to do as long as I stay true to myself. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes people realize they real they real path when you do shit like that too. Cause we all connected and what you do does have other people involved in it, whether it be directly or indirectly. What you do changes the course of the things around you. So I can come on here and y'all and people who know me 100% who watch these streams know how I am. I'm the most brash, confident, you know, I'm a leader and I get in in the, I'm the guy who I, not only am I gonna lead, but I'm also gonna go and battle with my soldiers and I'm gonna be in front of my soldiers waving the sword. Like I'm not finna sit here and let people go in front of me and die like i'm if we dying as an army we dying together as an army you know what i'm saying i'm not the type of leader that's gonna i'm gonna send the pawns out y'all gonna go out here and die for me like nah bro i'm so passionate about the shit that i'm doing like that's why i try to i try to step back man like i if i feel myself going towards a dark way i go for a walk i literally had to just go do that because i felt myself going towards a, a dark path like always I always feel myself going toward dark paths because it's easy to take that path the right hand path for me is easy I didn't study all occultism and the things that people would consider taboo in these day and age like I'm mastered in the light and the darkness and sometimes it just the the right hand path is the easiest path honestly to be righteous and to be of the light and to be upstanding instead of being a trickster is way harder People who who follow the light know this. When you have to 
really be on the front lines for God, like it's hard. The all mind is set it, setting us up for that type of shit. To be ready to pop off on that type of shit. But I always come on here and say that I'm not perfect. People that watch these streams and who follow what I do as an artist know that I'm crazy as fuck. I go out here and just literally like wild out at a fucking event and just have like for a righteous cause because I ain't like how Buddy was talking to somebody who should be respected because I always feel like everybody should be respected. But then I always feel like I I'm doing something and I'll never get that same reciprocation. And I just realize like I can't take that shit personal. Like, bro, I just can't. I, I have to literally just follow my own shit. <laughs> so going out there, I'm about to start. Um, working with these other companies and networking and collaborating with people For the past two years, I've been putting together this project that I'm just about finished with to honestly I started this shit in 2017 and when I started my first company and I literally been working on this project every single day since December of 2017 now I know that seems like a long time to work on a project some people might not see that as shit. That's just normal to some people, but I'm taking my time with this for the first time in my life. Normally, I used to drop projects like finish it. I wouldn't care how, how it went. I'm just putting it out. And granted, I get good results with that, but I want to see what it's like to create my magnum opus. So y'all literally watching me in the processes of this shit. Like today, it's the beginning of me going towards that, working towards my magnum opus. So I'm just glad that everybody can see me again. And I'm not just hiding like I used to from everybody. But I wasn't really hiding, y'all. I just, I don't want to give my attention away too much to certain shit because I, I already be fucking, I already got the attention span of a turkey. <laughs> I don't want to give my attention span away to shit like that. So the best thing I'm doing for myself right now is definitely meditating and doing yoga but sometimes that ain't even enough sometimes i really have to just be alone and get my shit to where i feel like okay this is good now i'm in a good a good place mentally because i ain't gonna lie my mental my mental space is only good when my bag is right and when my foundation is right and shit like that so the the longer i go deeper into not feeling like i'm at where i want to be I start getting crazier and crazier, bro. I start wilding out and I start not giving a fuck about what people got to say. And granted, I get more done that way, but afterwards I feel unfulfilled doing shit like that. So for real, don't do shit out of anger, man. For real, go for a walk, go for a walk, sit outside for a while, listen to music. You know what I'm saying? Smoke, smoke a blunt or two or three or four. You know what I'm saying? Just do whatever you gotta do to pass that shit off, man. Like I'm after I get done with this stream, I'm finna eat a big ass plate of food. And I'm finna finish whatever I can of this magazine. And maybe I might leave today, I might leave tomorrow. It just depends on how shit go because I'm going with the flow right now. I don't wanna press shit too much, but I know I gotta be there tomorrow for sure because my first gig is tomorrow. And I just got Offer some things that I can do that's gonna make shit more more interesting for me if uh, if I just keep my mindset focused towards that. So hopefully with everybody watching my progress and what I'm doing, more people will feel inspired by that. And I want to inspire people to not not be afraid to let the world see you at your lowest. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm at my, my lowest, I would say. Right now, I'm at my lowest. And I'm not afraid to admit that. And I'm not afraid to tell people that, you know, the world watches this shit. People, random people stumble into these streams. So it's not like, um, it's not like I can just cut this out and put this on YouTube and just take the good parts. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm being raw and real so that more of y'all can come back into these streams and see that Hey, I'm not gonna give up on y'all. Don't give up on me. Cause I need I need that support, bro. I'm not gonna lie. 
the support, it makes it easier to one, help the world because that's why I even do this shit. It's for the world. So believe that, man. And if you don't, that's cool, you know? That's why we have, we're entitled to opinions. But no matter what, you gotta, you gotta try for yourself first. <laughs> you gotta try for yourself first. Um, I'm Lord Shoe X. You're watching Lord of Perfected Work. This slideshow next to my face is products that's in my store. If you need notebooks, if you need jewelry, the jewelry's 50% off, and these notebooks are created by a great person who put their heart and soul into creating the art on these notebooks. And I use these notebooks myself. As a matter of fact, I will go grab one, but I'm not gonna leave this room. I actually have one near here, but I don't see it nowhere. Hmm. <laughs> hey, fuck it. We're just gonna get back into this. So yeah, it's uh, it's Wednesday, hump day. But ain't nobody humping. At least I'm not humping shit. Boy, my I'm, my shit on dry, dry, bro. <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever play uh, Paper Mario, but they got a level on there called Dry Dry Ruins. That's why I'm about to rename my shit, bro. <laughs> dry Dry Ruins, because my shit is dry and it's ruined. <laughs> the drier it gets, the more ruined it gets. But yeah, we just out here. Another stream. Lord knows by Tupac Shakur is kind of like the, the, the um, feeling of this day. But, I mean, shit, y'all got to think, man, Tupac was, he got thug life tatted on his stomach. And I got Shoe Loves Rebels tatted on my stomach. Like, we live by the same code and ethics, man. And I posted a video on my Facebook page, Shoe Loves Rebels LLC, about what uh, what Tupac said to um, Shock G. About uh, all these people wanting to murder him in L.A. and, and out east. And Shock G was trying to get him, get him to stay at his crib and just like you know chill, stay, lay low, and you know just watch watch some TV, man, eat some food, you know, smoke some weed. And Tupac looked at him, he's like, "You don't get it, do you? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't get it, do you, man? I don't give a fuck." <laughs> that man left and went. And handle his shit, man. And, I mean, he not here with us today. I mean, he could be off in Cuba. Who knows? We don't know. Because when it comes to Hollywood and the media and shit like that, they telling different narratives anyways. And I'm going to just lay low on that shit because I don't really give a fuck about them or they or whatever the fuck people be saying. Like, oh, they, them, blah, blah, blah. I never cared about none of that shit. I just cared about what I can do for the people around me so that they don't have to feel like it's somebody watching them or there's somebody telling them what to do. So I'm always studying, trying to figure out ways around shit like that. Like uh, creating NFTs and shit. I was doing that in 2015 and now it, NFTs is the thing. And I just was like in the beginning when NFTs started becoming popular, I wanted to come out with my own uh, blockchain and shit like that for my family. And my family actually came down for uh, my cousin's graduation and I was gonna do uh, like a presentation for them. But I got, this, I sat down like I do and I meditate on the shit. And I got to thinking like, man, these people, Do them. So I gotta do me. And <laughs> we just gonna leave it like that. They do them, and I gotta do me. I can't I can't slow myself down for a certain shit, honestly. So I have to be aware that some people's journey isn't meant to be a part of my journey. And you want people to be there, you want family to be there, but sometimes it's just what it is. I just began fucking fed up with the fact that this world is getting to a point where they even saying fuck family, bro. Why would you say shit like that, bro? Like, the most important thing 
is the people. The most important thing is the people. If you doing something for yourself, you doing it for the people. So how could you say you You're doing it for them already. Don't get caught up in the illusion. I began I began so fed up with people getting caught up in illusions that I get so pissed off. I'm like, bro, can y'all not see the same thing that I see? No. <laughs> so, like I said from the jump, don't take it personal, guys. Girls, puppies, cartoons, don't take it personal. Just go grab the first thing you like to eat. Drink some water. Thug it out. It's 2021. It's the return of the all mind to this planet. In a way where that the women are being uplifted. And we gotta start helping these kids who are raised and coming up in these times. We gotta make sure that they, they ready. We gotta make sure they ready for the war. The war of the soul, the war of the spirit. These rainbow children are those warriors, those warriors of the heart. Just talking about rainbow children uh, yesterday on Facebook about how this little girl was trying to convince her mom that she was grew, grew up in a different time. And the mom was like, I just think she's getting these time frames mixed up and I'm like, I mean, that's cool. But if she's telling you this and you ask her and she's like, nah, I'm not getting the times mixed up. You just don't believe me. Then you should probably listen because that's when that's when that information from all mind is trickling through. But y'all know what it is, man. So much shit going on in this world that people don't understand or even can fathom. <laughs> And then there's some really simple shit going on, like just go with the flow. Wake up and go with the flow. Just like how I did today. I could I could do some wild shit today, but I'ma just go with the flow. There's no reason for me to There's no reason for me to fucking trip. I wanted to, but right now I got bigger things I gotta fry. I got bigger fish to fry. I'm just so happy that we all can get in this chat and really chop it up. But everybody who in here, let me uh, vent a little bit. Because fuck that. I'd rather people see me vent. People see me all the time being strong and being solid. I want people to see every facet of me so they know, hey, I'm a real person. Shit does get under my skin shit do break me down sometimes bro and i don't never be upset about shit i just be i just be sad bro really if i'm if you if i start getting loud bro it's because i'm sad because <laughs> it's just like nigga you don't even you don't you don't get it do you i don't give a fuck i don't that's why i'm working hard to attach attach myself back to this planet Cause I can be in space all the time. This stream is for that reason. Cause when my body starts tingling all over, that's when I know I'm starting to, to deteriorate back to the spiritual realm. And you can do that. <laughs> you can not want to be in your body and a part of this earth so much that you will literally deteriorate back to the etheric realm. And I feel this tingling and that's when I know that it's time for me to pull myself back into reality. Not the reality that's created for me, but my reality. And following my code and my laws and ethics and bringing myself into that. But when you're not used to worshiping and following your own Bible, it gets hard, man. It gets tough. You got to really... Gotta really have people that's that's around that'll support you and really show you love. Cause this shit will literally break you down and break you apart. And like, you'll not even wanna talk to people that you fuck with. Cause I got to that point where I was just like, I don't even wanna, I don't wanna talk. 
I don't want to talk to people I even fuck with right now. Like, I'm just, just give me space to be in my thoughts so I can figure out what the fuck it is that I'm even trying to, like, say to you. Because if you can't see it through the actions and how much I sacrifice, I don't want to talk to you right now. When you, when you trying to come at me some type of way or, you know, waste my time, because now it's just like, bro, we, we're on a level right now that you and I could literally, we could, we could have a dialogue and it won't be, it won't be something that, that'll go to waste. It'll be something that could potentially change the world, but those getting lost in that fucking bullshit reality illusion that's created for us it just it fuck bro that's what be fucking with me more than anything bro nothing else fucks with me but that honestly it's just they, it's so ready to give in to it it's like bro i get it you creating for yourself or you know you're doing something for your family but like it's millions of families bro it's millions of selves, bro. And we all the same self. So why? Like, come on, man. Stop giving up. You giving up. You giving up. And that's that shit kills me, bro. Because it's so, it's so much more important things than to give up. You got to be stronger than the people that's hurt. You got to be stronger, bro. That's why I be fucking spazzing, bro. Because when I hear people say shit like, man, you do this, you do that. Like, nah, nigga, you missing the point, bro. We in this shit together, bro. We got we we were born into this bullshit together. This is our hell or our heaven, bro. Come on. If if we got the same mission, nigga, wouldn't it be smart to just b- both of us take the risk? Both of us put our feet down and into the dirt and go. Everybody though, not just particular situation I'm going through, but just everybody. If we all in the same mission, let's go. Let's break this shit. If we all feel in the same way, why are we not trying to break this shit together, right? But that's why I say, you can't talk about it, bro. You got to emulate. You got to do it through the action. That's why I, all the time I'm leaving, steadily putting my life at risk, steadily doing things that seem like, that, to me, it seems like nothing because I done went through hell and back hundreds of times. Like, this shit is nothing. That's why I be like, bro, we can do this, man. If y'all believe in me, man, I believe in you. Like, it's that simple for me, man. Like, you shouldn't have to worry. You shouldn't have to be like, bro, I just want to make sure, nigga. I'm getting up. And and for you, this seems like this is some out the blue shit. That should tell you where I'm at, bro. When I'm willing to go out here and just do me. So that I can come back with the bag and be like, all right, I done cultivated some shit. Let's, all right, this is the next step. Like, nigga, it's it's easy. And I love you, bro. It don't matter. None of that, all that extra shit, none of that matters, bro. But don't, when you get around people, don't be doing it. Don't do that shit, man. I believe in you all the time. Even when you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you. So don't give up. Like, fuck that. Never give up. Shit. I know shit hurts. I know life be so, so real. It seem real. I know life can seem very real sometimes, bro. But trust me. You want to see yourself grow? Get through that shit. You want to see yourself grow? Push past that shit. You want to see yourself grow? See how you can move in things that you say that you can't move in. Like, I, if I can believe in you this much, bro, you should have the same type of energy for yourself, or if not, for me, right? That's the energy that we reciprocate and giving back to each other, right? We got to keep that that love. We got to keep that energy flowing, bro. Don't talk to me if you're not going to talk about some real shit, bro, about the move. All right, this is what I'm doing this week. While you gone, I bet. Cool. You asking me like I'm the one that's that's not like I'm the one that's not out already out here risking my life and risking my foundations over and over again for the things that I believe that hey if I set this up I know you'll thrive in this situation. This ain't even for me. My blessings is passing through me for y'all. That's why I get fucking hot, bro. That's why I fucking spaz, bro, because I live for the people. People live through me. 
That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't want to. I don't want to wake up and see people in pain. I don't want to see people getting kidnapped. Uh, people getting abused no more. I don't want to see people having to give themselves up to corporations that know they don't give a fuck about them. Fuck that. I'll let it go and I'll go be a hermit in a fucking tree somewhere, bro, before I let myself feel that type of shit. If I feel it coming that way, I'll leave, bro. And won't think shit of it. So, always, 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 y'all. No matter what, if y'all, if you feeling like, man, I, I'm about to give up, call me, text me, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on my fucking Facebook, something, bro. Hit me up. Please, because when I witness shit like that, bro, that shit hurt me more than you calling me a fuck nigga, whatever. I don't care. You can call me all the goddamn names in the world. I've been there, done that. I done been bullied. Fuck that. That shit don't matter. What matters is when I see you giving up. What matters is when I see you not being sure of yourself. When I know who you are, because I believe in you more than I believe in anything else. I believe in y'all. I believe in y'all over religious doctrines that's been written over our time and history and shit. Like I believe in the human heart and the, and the actions of people and primordial beings. I believe in that shit more than anything else, man. So when niggas be seeing me get hot, bro, please don't take that as me being upset. I'm just passionate about you. And I know who you are and what you could do what you are capable of I want to see you succeed more than I do cause like I said I, the title of this stream lord knows man I smoke a blunt to take the pain out and if I wasn't high I'd probably try and blow my brains out but lord knows it's a reason why I named this shit that bro I live for y'all I live for myself too but I live for y'all man but I gotta get high off of y'all Seeing y'all do the best, you being the best version of you. Because that shit motivates me to keep going. Because, bruh, it be hard for me, man, knowing that I'm waking up every day in hell. This is hell to me. I done been in heaven. And when I live there and I see all these other people in hell, it's like, how can I be somewhere when these people aren't? This is why I stay hidden, bruh. This is why I don't. I don't come out, bro, and be out in the world and shit. Because people will see someone like me who got a heart this fucking big and really care this fucking much. Nigga, I got people who don't even fuck with me because I literally try to help them take better care of themselves, bro. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to, like, call nobody out. But I'm saying this to say this. If I can continuously speak my truth and get shitted on all the time for speaking my truth, if I can do this, bro, you can do this shit too. It's a it's a team of people out here who desire to see certain things in their life. I have no desire for anything because that's just me. I don't desire to see shit, but for people to be genuinely happy. That's the if if that's the only desire I have, man, it's probably the worst one to have. It's to see people genuinely happy and not in a place of hurt, not feeling shunned, not feeling low. But when you got a heart this big and you coming from a place that most people don't understand because you truly believe in them, it's gonna be hard, man. And for the people who I know in my group, my team, who knows that I'm about that action. <laughs> y'all know I'm about that fucking action. I appreciate y'all. On the real, shit is hard, hard. But it's really easy once you let go of the expectation of seeing people who you know could be even better than you or just be happy and enjoy 
the thing, the better things in life instead of the shit that separates them. Cause I see a lot of people be like, oh, you know, I'm just stay away from. Like nah, bro, you gotta be a fucking soldier, man. You gotta be a fucking soldier. I know I'm, I'm probably sound like I'm trying to tell you what to do, but I'm not, cause I'm just coming from the perspective of myself and just talking to myself. But you gotta be a fucking soldier, man. Can't give up on people, man. Fuck that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it when all this shit going on in the world and you don't even have to watch the news. You can feel it. You can feel the negative shit going on. Even if it's just on a mundane level, small, insignificant levels, you know that you can feel that type of energy of, I don't have that support. Only reason that is is because you don't need it. Just like I don't need this this support that I get, but I want it because it lets me know that there's people who really are like me out here, who really want to see shit change out here. And the more I keep doing these, the more people gonna be like, "Hey, he's genuine. He genuinely gives a fuck about us. He genuinely gives a fuck about the world." Cause I always say my favorite quote: "You never know who Jesus is, man. Respect everybody." Just because Jesus ain't doing what you think he's supposed to do in these times doesn't mean that he didn't do these same things when these scriptures were written about him. I mean, this magic wand could be Jesus, bro. You never know. I need people to start living in that type of energy. That's what I need. I need people to start living in the energy of love. I ain't perfect, though. I be having a hard time doing that shit, but now y'all see why sometimes I have a hard time doing that shit. Because reality can depress you, man. The reality created for us, not my reality. Because when I come out of my reality to come back into this shit, this, bruh, I swear, those are the trenches that I hate the most. That's the shit that I be going through. I be like, fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> like, fuck me. <laughs> Cause my world is way easier My life is The way I live and the shit that I follow Is way easier It's not even as deep Respect everything Respect the world Respect the creatures in the world But y'all would rather live through your flesh And disrespect these creatures Because of what somebody wrote down When you half ass believed it yourself Don't do that shit man Don't come around me with the Oh, you contradict yourself. No, I live my shit, nigga. If I'm living my shit every day, bro, it's not, it's you can't see nothing different. I'm going to show you what you look like all the time. I'll show you what you look like, how things look from the perspective of me. So I'm going to show it to you right in front of you. I don't have no problem doing that every day. If you call that contradiction, that's fine. But if I'm contradicting myself... What do you think you're doing? <laughs> That's why I try so hard to be the best family member I can be. By just staying in my own fucking lane, bro. I'm not like y'all, bro. <laughs> I stay in my lane because that's what's going to get us out of this fucked up shit that we all in. The real shit. All this talking, talking shit and chopping it up on whatever. Like, that's not solving problems. We all talk about the problems that we have, but none of us want to actually sit down and solve the problems. And nine times out of ten, the problem is people and they fucking egos. <laughs> I humble myself, bro. I humble myself to the point where I can get on here and say that I'm at the lowest point i ever been. I can say that and not give a fuck. Because it's always at those lowest points that I realize, man, I done been at lower points than this. Way lower. <laughs> I didn't have people around me at those points. I really don't got nobody around me now, and I'm at the lowest point. But does this mean that I'm going to give up? No. And you shouldn't either. And you should never give up. No matter what. Because the higher realms know. And I'm always in the energy of gratitude. I'm grateful for the shit that happened today, man. 
because it just shows me that sometimes we ain't gonna always be on the same page about certain shit. But at the end of the day, man, I got that nigga. That nigga got me. I know if a motherfucker put, try to pull up on me right now and try to shoot me, I'm gonna always have niggas that's got my back, no matter what. I always have somebody that I can I can lean on when shit gets saucy, man. That's why I never fucking trip, bro. That's why I never worry. That's why I never trip on anything that's that I think might fuck me up or throw me off my path, bro. I never trip on that shit because I know I'm always having niggas that's gonna have my back. And I know if shit get critical, they gonna pull that fucking, they gonna up that pole on the op real quick. So, fuck that, man. I'm just glad that we all in this chat today talking about some real shit because I could have came on here and just acted like everything was honky dory, but that's a fucking, that's a David Bowie album, man. That's not my life. And we all know how David Bowie was, he, he went through the same shit, man. I don't know if anybody ever watched interviews by David Bowie, but this man go through the same shit. Like, <laughs> rest in peace, David Bowie. But, yeah, it's the same shit, man. We all got problems. But how can we come together as people who got problems and solve them? I want to know. I genuinely want to know. I want to start a group for real of solving problems. Cause there's people smarter than me. I want to know those people. I want to meet the people that's th that's smarter than me. I want to meet y'all. Please pull up, hit me up. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I still use social media. Like I'm trying to stay in this reality that's created for us to take y'all out with me. And I don't mean take you out. Like I'm talking about the real shit. Walking through the gates. I ain't talking about heaven's gates either. <laughs> But anyways, man, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave the chat on this note, man. I'm gonna leave it at this note. I just want to say I appreciate everybody who watched these streams for sure. Y'all got my heart for sure. Like everybody in the world that's that's wanting to see change, man. And you looking for somebody that want to help you? I'm your guy. Cuz I can't take too much more of this shit of seeing people giving up. When I'm here, bro, I'm here to support you. I'm always here to support you, bro. I will literally throw my... I don't have dreams, bro. I live my dream. I am the dream. I don't chase the dream. I am that shit. So I'm already in it. If you want to... You say you want to do these things, let's go. I won't... I won't hesitate to beat a nigga ass to get you to that point. But you gotta believe in yourself, bro. I can't do it for you. But if you need somebody to help you believe in yourself, I'm your guy. Come holler at your boy, Lord Shue. Cause Lord Perfected Work ain't just about me. This is me giving you experiences that happened in my life that it's just the perspective that you, oh, I, you know, I never seen it from this perspective. I'm just giving you perspectives and I live so different that sometimes I have two or three perspectives in the one event that like at all at the same time in the same day like shit happened to me I literally experienced so many perspectives at one time that I could literally just go off the shit like that because I just I'm in a different world from you know I ain't gonna say the average person but someone who just decides to be in the construct and following it pretty much to the T and I'm not hating on people who do that because there's playable characters and there's NPCs, man. And you know, I know y'all starting to become conscious too and waking up to this shit around you and you want to keep your world because you're an NPC. You're a part of the world that was created. I don't, I'm, I can't blame you for that. That's just some shit that all the, the creators who put their hard work and energy and spirit into creating beings, that's just how it is. You got to have a balance. I can't be mad at you for that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm on my mission as you are on your mission. So, thank you, everybody who watches this. Even if you're an NPC waking up and you're watching this, I appreciate you too. Because we all we got, man. You know what I'm saying? We all we got. If we can change this construct, fuck it. Let's go. If you want to change 
some shit around you in your community, fuck it, let's go. If you want to change your whole life, fuck it, let's go. But I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you on this on this journey to what we doing. So, shout out to y'all. Shout out to Nimbus. Big shout out to Nimbus, man. I love this nigga with my whole fucking soul, bro. He just don't even fucking know it. Why I be fucking spazzing. Because it's just like, bro, stop. Stop with that weak shit, bro. I see who you are. I see you at your highest. Like, know that. If you watch, if you ever watch any of these streams, know that, my nigga. That I see who you really are. And I always tell you that all the time. And I will not hesitate to tell you how great of a human being you are. And the same to y'all too, bro. Y'all are great human beings, bro. I love all y'all. And I appreciate y'all for coming in here and really taking time to rock with your boys today, man, on another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. You know, it take a lot to come on here and just say what's on your heart and say what's on your mind. Because sometimes, you know, somebody who ain't got good hold on their emotions can break down for real. But, you know, I got to stand strong. Even though I'm letting y'all know I'm coming from a place of weakness, I'm still going to stand strong for my peoples. And I'm going to never give up on y'all. All right? But Lord Shoe X out. Uh, you see the slideshow next to my face? <laughs> These are products in my store. All the jewelry is 50% off on Tefnet Archive. All these notebooks are created by 1111. She's like a really great artist and she's an author. She writes books. She also has two books that she be selling. That shit from the reviews, it, it's gotta be that high fire cause people be ranting and raving about these books and I've yet to read them. Cause I'm 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 finna go get my shit. Y'all y'all can order it, but I'm finna go get my shit. You feel me? <laughs> so Check the website out, shoelovesrebels.com. Y'all can add me on Instagram. Y'all can add me on Facebook at shoelovesrebels, LLC, for Instagram and Facebook. I got a Tumblr. The uh, the Tumblr is probably going to be under Shoe Loves Rebels as well. Um, I think that might be all for the shameless plugs, man. <laughs> so, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it quicker today. But, yeah. I love y'all. Much appreciated. Lord Shoe X out, man. I'm out this beach. I'm out this beach. <laughs> I'm out this beach.